All right, so the topic at hand is, will a Solus S6 start a five horsepower well pump? Well, maybe. It depends, and I'll explain. But the clamp meter said 59 amps, you say. That's way less than the Solus spec says it'll do. So why didn't the pump start? Well, let's get into the weeds a little bit. A typical single phase five horsepower motor at 240 volts has a full load current around 28 to 32 amps. Locked rotor current, that's the current when the motor's just starting up, is about five to seven times that. So roughly 140 to 220 amps for the first few cycles. The Solus S6 can burst 85 amps for 300 milliseconds. That's about 20 kVA. And 76 amps for 10 seconds, that's about 18.2 kVA. So I think you can see what the problem is right there, that five horsepower motor needs way more current than the Solus S6 is rated for. If the pump needs 34 to 53 kVA right at the start, then the inverter is going to hit its current limit, voltage is going to sag, torque drops, and the motor won't start. Then the question is, why does the clamp meter read a lot lower than that? Clamp meter says 59 amps. The inverter should start that up. On clamp meters, most inrush modes average about the first 100 milliseconds. So they miss the first few milliseconds spike. You see 59 amps, but the inverter already started limiting. So what's actually happening is the meter is reading the limited current. It's reading the current after the inverter already started limiting it. So you're going to see that lower figure there. So what are some good workarounds for this if you're, if you're already in this situation? The best option would be to use a soft starter that's rated for submersible pumps. You can use a VFD. They've got some VFDs that are, are pump rated also. Um, you could go to two Solus inverters, but really the, the cleanest option would be the soft start. Cleanest and lowest cost option. Need to use a bleed down so the pump doesn't have to start against head pressure and make the feeder wires from the inverter to your pump as short and heavy as possible. So that's why it matters to know the specs of your inverter and pump. You really need to match the inverter specs and the motor specs before you buy something that may not work. All right, guys, if you found that informative, sure would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Adios.